So finding top dead center on your automatic TDI is a little difficult, but when this pulley is on, this crankshaft pulley is on, there's a notch there in the top and it lines up with that little line in this case that sits behind it. But once you take this pulley off and then the case off to do your timing belt change, there's nothing in behind it to confirm you're at top dead center. But one thing you can do, now you don't want to do your timing by this method, but to confirm that you're still near top dead center when you're throwing it all back together in case the crank, in case you're worried the crank may have turned a little bit on it. On this gear, there's three dots. And this dot that's as far counterclockwise, this third one lines up with this little notch here, roughly. It's not perfect and of course the angle that I look at this at um, isn't going to come across perfectly either but you can see that third dot the one all the way to the left lines up with that little uh, notch boss I don't know what you'd call that the little notch on the aluminum housing behind it uh, and that's how you can confirm that you're at least really close to top dead center when you're throwing everything back together in case you need to refine top dead center uh, while you're working on things, if you bump things out accidentally, something like that. I'm gonna show you on the flywheel as well. There's that third dot to the left lined up with this guy here on the housing. And I'm gonna show you on the flywheel what that looks like. Excuse me, flex plate. This is an automatic tranny. So you look through this, not the round window, but this rectangular window and there's a little dot, uh, a little circle with lines on either edge. You put the center of that circle where those lines are up with this edge. This is uh, front of the car we're looking at. You line that up with that edge of the, the transmission housing, and that's top dead center. On a manual trans, as I recall, there's a little pointer inside uh, I think there's only one hole in the manual trans. Don't quote me on that. But there's a little pointer, actually, I think that sticks down in a round type hole like that that points to the flywheel for top dead center, as long as you don't have an aftermarket flywheel. But on the automatic, uh, 2002, so I'm guessing 99 to 04 and a half or whatever, ALH type engine anyway, uh, that's where top dead center is. So that just confirms it for you there. Like I said, there's your little third dot to the left, lined up with that guy. The other thing I'm going to say, it, it should be self-evident when you put that crank pulley back on, but there's a little uh, protrusion here, a little dimple that lines up with the biggest hole that a bolt doesn't go through on the back of your pulley. You can see that this hole's pretty small, and that hole's pretty small, and that hole's pretty small, but it lines up with this bigger one. So you're going to line this bigger hole that a bolt doesn't go through with that little dimple. A little hard to see. Let's get in there a little better. With that little dimple. And that's how you got this lined up correctly. So it will show your little notch on the back of your pulley. That little notch there will line up correctly. You'll see that that biggest hole that a bolt doesn't go through is in that orientation down there where that dimple is. Hope this was helpful. If you got anything out of it, like and subscribe. I appreciate it.